I'm feeling great. Uh, very active. Back to work. Uh, in the meantime, I've had two uh, grandbabies born, so I've been able to enjoy them very much. And I don't think I'd be here today if it wasn't for CAR-T. CAR-T therapy is really one of the most exciting new developments in cancer therapy in general and in cancer immunotherapy specifically. At the University of Maryland Greenbaum Comprehensive Cancer Center, we've treated over 70 patients with CAR-T therapy, including patients with aggressive B-cell lymphoma and patients with ag aggressive B-cell leukemia. CAR-T therapy can actually cure uh, acute leukemia in children and young, young adults, and it can cure aggressive B-cell lymphomas, which is the most common type of, of lymphoma. Each CAR T cell is capable of killing multiple B cell leukemia cells or B cell lymphoma cells. Uh, some refer to them as serial killers. Vital signs are stable. His eyes and nose is more than a liter positive. In CAR T cell therapy, we collect immune cells from a patient. These cells are then genetically modified and engineered to express a new protein, a totally synthetic protein on the cell surface called a CAR, which stands for chimeric antigen receptor, which is a freak of nature. It has an antibody on the outside and, and, and signaling T cell signaling domains on the inside. And this uh, reprogrammed uh, cell, after it's genetically engineered, modified, is grown up and cultured and then brought back to the patient and infused. You gave him a prescription. Typically, patients who qualify for CAR T therapy have no other treatment options. When I heard the you know, cancer word, I figured my days were numbered. And to this day, I at times got to pinch myself to make sure that I am still in remission. But I uh, got a lot of reasons to live, and I was very happy with the result. Another aspect of our program is that it's very multifaceted. There is a strong commercial FDA approved therapy component. There is also a major research component where we're testing new CAR T therapies. This is a uh, technology and a platform that will be applicable to many other types of cancers, including not just blood cancers, but also uh, solid tumors like breast cancer and lung cancer and liver cancer. We also are working on ways to reduce uh, some of the potential side effects of CAR T therapy to make it even safer and potentially be able to do it more in the outpatient setting, not just the inpatient setting, which is primarily where we do it now.